The squat is the most fundamental exercise that provides the most benefit in a single movement. It's a compound movement that targets several muscles for growth, others to improve stability, and has the added benefit to maintain musculoskeletal balance and symmetry. However, due to its complexity, a lot of people perform it incorrectly, unsafely, or even afraid to do it at all. After watching this video, you should know exactly why you should be squatting, and more importantly, what you should be focusing on while in the squat rack to avoid injury. I'm Dr. David Gunderman, and welcome to the Rad Lab. I'm not a world record powerlifting squat champion. However, I think even the strongest men in the world will agree with me that your current strength training program doesn't mean squat if you're injured. Let's go over four universal laws to follow when performing the squat to ensure you're pain-free for years to come. Number one, keep your center of balance over your feet. To do this, the very first movement in a squat is to shift your hips backwards. This creates space for the center of balance to descend vertically into. Without this very first movement, the entire mechanic will be completely off. You'll end up bending over too far, push your knees too far forward, or just completely be unbalanced. If you don't keep your center of balance moving vertically between your feet, the heavy load you're carrying will distribute the weight to other body parts you're not intending to. Number two, maintain a neutral spine throughout the movement. One of the absolute most common complaints about squats is low back pain. The back muscles are meant to perform an isometric contraction to support the posture throughout the movement, but not to have any involvement in the actual lift itself. In order to do this, engage in abdominal muscles to counterbalance your back muscles to provide a stable core that remains unchanged the entire movement. The proper squat will have a slightly forward tilt in the torso. The degree of tilt in the torso is of less importance than making sure your spine is not flexed or rounded during the movement. Engaging the abdominals will ensure that the pelvis is in a neutral alignment with your spine. If your back is arching, it typically means that your back is trying to assist in lifting the weight. If your back is rounding, it typically means your back is absorbing the weight. In either case, it can be harmful with heavier loads. The goal is to keep your upper body completely static during the entire lift. Using your core to stabilize your spine should not induce any pain or injury even with heavy lifts, and instead will help increase the strength and stability of your core muscles. Number three, get your knees out of the way. Knee pain or injury is the second most common complaint of squatting, and it's most likely caused from poor mechanics. Just like maintaining good form with most exercises, you need to actively restrict the natural tendencies that your brain decides is the most efficient. The natural tendency during a squat is to allow your knees to collapse in order to place more emphasis on the quads rather than the glutes and the hamstrings. Unfortunately, over time, this will lead to serious injury of the knee. Moving your knees too far forward beyond your feet is also bad mechanics. That leads to knee injury over time. The safest way to keep your center of balance vertically descending is to focus on moving your knees laterally as they bend. This keeps your center of balance centered as it opens up more space as you properly sit in the squat. Now this tip is independent of stance width. A wider stance alone is not a solution for proper knee mechanics. In fact, with a wider stance, it's harder to prevent your knees from collapsing in. Number four, drive the force through your heels. Fitting with this concept of keeping the center of balance in a single vertical plane, the majority of the force should be conducted through your heels as much as possible. The calf is another stabilizing muscle during this exercise and is not intended to take away any of the load from the upper legs. The heel of your foot is directly under your shin bones, which can efficiently transmit the force to your upper leg. If you feel the weight on the front of your foot, it's likely that your center of balance is too far forward. Being cognizant that the weight is in your heels is a great way to check your form. People may debate all day long about foot placement, squat depth, bar height. The truth is, with each of those variables, you can manipulate the emphasis on different muscles and get varying performance benefits. As long as you follow these four simple rules, you can rest easy knowing that you have the fundamental principles of squatting to keep the joints healthy and pay free. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit the like button more validated research and real scientific answers to sports nutrition and exercise science, just hit subscribe and find out everything you wanted to know but were afraid to ask.